Hi guys, it's Kelsey. Um, I am just back to record a little bit of a pregnancy update. Um, so I'm now 13 weeks. I have not been to the doctor since my eight week um, ultrasound, which everything looked good at. Um, and I have an appointment this week on Wednesday and I'm actually switching doctors. So that means that it's like my 12, 13 week um, appointment. So I'll do the nuchal scan um, that checks for I think Down syndrome um, or any like thing that could be wrong with the pregnancy and then um, I'm getting the full like blood panel so it'll be like genetic testing and it'll tell me the gender of the baby which I still don't know um, which is so weird because my last doctor did all of this blood work earlier like nine or ten weeks so I in my last two pregnancies have known the gender much earlier so it's just kind of weird that I don't know the gender yet and I'm really excited to find out um, I know some people prefer not to find out but for me um, I'm a just a very impatient person and I love to plan but B I really think it helps me bond with my pregnancy and I'm just really like ready for that right now I've Kind of been like anxious and stressed after my miscarriage a few months ago I've just been kind of like waiting for something bad to happen and now that I'm at that 13 week mark I feel really good and I feel like I can let myself kind of relax a little bit and enjoy being pregnant and get excited for this baby so um for me knowing the gender just helps me a little bit like bond with with the baby um, and then I like being able to plan out the nursery and I have tons of baby stuff and I'm just gonna like whichever gender it is we're just gonna purge all of the clothes we don't need like if it's a girl we're gonna get rid of all of Wyatt's baby clothes I have tons of friends with boys that could use them vice versa I will find somebody with a baby girl that could use Charlotte's old clothes um, and then I'll just like help plan where we're gonna put the crib and who's gonna share a room and all of that so we did just move into our house so I'm kind of like waiting on a couple things like setting up the kids rooms just to know like who will be sharing and you know what so we're loving our new house so far um, it's really perfect for having little kids before we didn't have a playroom or anything and now we have a playroom off the kitchen and I'm just envisioning like putting a rocking chair in there and nursing the baby while the kids play or you know if I have to put the baby down for a nap I have a camera in there and I can just kind of like let the kids play with their toys in there and not worry so much um so so far it's been really perfect setup for kids and everything like that um so as far as side effects go or symptoms of pregnancy I was really really tired and pretty sick um like more in the mornings if I didn't eat I would feel kind of like weak and sick and I needed like carbs all the time and now that I've hit that like 12 13 week mark um I feel a lot better I don't think I could have done this move at six weeks but I think we moved when I was right at 12 weeks about a week ago and thank god because I would not have been able to do it if I was feeling the way I was at six weeks I was just like so tired I needed a nap every day which is so not me um but now I'm god like I have more energy I'm not having to like lay down and take a nap I can get stuff done during my kids nap um in the afternoon I'm not like oh my god I need a break I'm like able to do laundry and cook dinner and do all these things um and my nausea is pretty much gone I'll have moments of just like very slight nausea but for the most part I wake up feeling really good and I have a lot of energy um which is kind of funny it kind of like messes with your brain because after you feel so pregnant and so bad for so many weeks at the 12 13 week mark at least that's when I start feeling better second trimester I call it the um what do I call it oh my god my brain <laughs> well, that's not what I call it anyways so it kind of messes with your brain because after you feel so sick for so long and like so pregnant and then you start to feel better, you kind of start to worry because you're like, wait, am I still pregnant? Like, is something wrong? Why do, why do my symptoms go away when I know everything's okay and I know I should just enjoy feeling good because in a few weeks I'm going to get bigger and not feel so good and probably get that 
like fatigue and tiredness back a little bit. So um, I'm just gonna try to enjoy it and get things done and kind of wait patiently till my next doctor's appointment. Um, I'm planning on doing the big reveal or whatever, telling everybody on Instagram um, in like a week maybe because I will wait just probably for everything to check out and get a good result on the ultrasound and all of that stuff before I announce it to everybody. Um, the worst thing for me would to be like, I announce it on Instagram and then um, I go to my appointment and like something be wrong and you know, maybe, maybe they can't find a heartbeat or like my biggest fear is coming true basically. I wanna like go and see the heartbeat and see the baby and make sure everything's okay. Um, so then after I get that kind of peace of mind on Wednesday, I'm gonna announce it. I'm waiting for like the long ultrasound thing so my husband and I can take a cute picture um, to post to Instagram, but I'm really excited. That's like the fun part of pregnancy is announcing and everyone gets excited for the baby um, and just start to kind of like be able to be excited. So that's good. Um, and then when we get the gender result or the gender, yeah, results back, um, I've never done a gender reveal before, but I always love when other people do it and I love finding out and watching it. It's so exciting for me for some reason. Um, so I think I'm going to try to do it this time. I'm like, I don't really care what the gender is either way. So it's not like I'm going to be disappointed. I think it would just be really fun to, um, find out with like my close family and, um, husband and kids and stuff. So, um, that would be fun. I still don't know if we're going to do that, but I did buy like two, um, smoke bombs. So they're at my mom's house. So maybe I'll have her, um, look at the results first and like bring them over or something. So we will see, but TBD, we will know the gender soon, possibly in like a week or two. So that's really exciting. And then from there, my husband and I can kind of like talk about names and, narrow things down so we actually already pretty much have our boy name picked out for some reason I think boy names are so much easier to, than girl names I don't know why um with Wyatt I knew that's his name right away and for Charlotte it took forever um so for boys we have one name we really like and then for girls we cannot agree so we will see I kind of have a gut feeling it's a girl I don't know why but I could really picture us with a boy or a girl so um, I'm just excited to find out and kind of like start to picture our family and what that will look like and things like that. Um, other symptoms, I've had kind of like a weird stomach. I still am like not really able to eat meat. Not a lot of food sounds great to me. Um, I'm able to drink my coffee again, which has been really, really a godsend. Um, I can't look at meat or chicken. It's like super gross to me these days. Um, what else? I'm really into carbs. All I want to eat is crackers. Um, oh, and I also like really remember this stage of pregnancy with my first two kids. It's like nobody really knows you're pregnant. Nobody can tell by looking at you that you're pregnant, but none of your like normal pants or my normal, none of my normal pants fit right. And like, I kind of have a baby bump, but I'm like, you know, don't look that pregnant. It's just like, you kind of feel off, but it's this big secret because nobody knows. So it's just like kind of an awkward stage in pregnancy where, you know, you want to scream it from the rooftops and you feel like you're keeping this secret, but you know, you're not and nobody probably else really cares or is like scrutinizing you like that, but you just feel like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm not myself and whatever. So I'm just kind of like excited to show a little bit more and be able to kind of wear like more maternity stuff that people will be like, oh, she's pregnant and not just like wearing leggings and a baggy t-shirt every day, um, especially when it gets hotter. I don't know how I'm going to work with my wardrobe then. I've never really um, been super pregnant in the summer or the warm weather, so that should be interesting. I'm not a huge hot weather person. I like colder, cooler weather and being pregnant, you're like, oh, it's hot and sweaty and uncomfortable. So I'm gonna be blasting the AC. I'm gonna get some cute, you know, summer dresses and we're gonna just work with it. Um, I think the kids too are now old enough to where 
they're kind of understanding that, you know, mommy's going to have a baby and they're going to get a brother or sister. And I think they're kind of excited. They both still say they want a girl and they think it's a girl. So, and my husband thinks it's a girl too. So if this baby's a boy, we're all going to be very surprised. Um, but it's just as funny because I think Wyatt would love having a little brother and Charlotte would love having a little sister. So I'm kind of going to feel bad for whoever doesn't get their, you know, boy or girl. But Charlotte and Wyatt are the best of friends. They're super close in age and it doesn't matter that they're a boy and a girl. So my wish is just for a healthy baby that gets along with the first two kids. And I just want them to all be best friends and um, love each other. So that's pretty much it for my pregnancy update. I will report back after my doctor's appointment um, and let you guys know how it goes. And hopefully we'll be announcing on Instagram next week. Hopefully I can get that cute picture with the, inst with the ultrasound photos. So please um, pray for me when I go see my new doctor. I would love all the prayers because I'm just hoping that I love him and that I don't regret switching um, hospitals and doctors and all that. It'll be a different hospital than my first two were delivered in and a different doctor. So I'm a little nervous for that, but I think it's the right decision. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on this week and I will see you guys all soon.